Welcome to the finale of the Team Dark playthrough of Sonic Heroes. Um, we're at the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen, because we have now landed on the Egg Fleet. <gasps> For Do the we second have a death time, wish? out of form. Yep. Whales. We all have a death wish. I love I how he yeah, I love how he questions. I love how he questions it. Like, like the the subtitle is not "You must have a death wish." The the, the subtitle is "You have a death wish." Yeah, there's a there's a few caption sub caption subtitle errors throughout the game. Like I know James pointed out well, one during the Team Sonic playthrough. Oh wait, real quick, this line. Space. Space. No, 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 no. You want to know what that makes me think of? Okay, so space. Space. Did you say space? Yes, yes, Shadow, with or without stuff. Okay, I'm, without, I'm so sorry. We're through without stars. Anyway, um, <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I mean, we talked about this in Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, this is the real Shadow. He's not fake. Right. Yes, it is yeah, supposed to be the real it. Shadow. Yeah. Don't know how he survived, but he did. Mm -hmm. Because the well, fans demanded. Expl... There is technically an in-universe explanation as to how he survived, but I guess we could save that for when we do our mini commentary on Shadow. That's all you, Logan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's already all done and recorded. I don't know why you're all like, oh, this is all you. It's done. It's been done. Yeah, he went on a cr- Oh, yeah. That it is. I'm amazed you're still alive after doing it. I'm so- oh, dude, I've been playing- I've been on like a Sonic buff- I've been on a Sonic buff lately. I freaking beat- I beat a Shadow the Hedgehog thing. I'm two thirds way done with Sonic 06 because yes we are doing that Freaking and also to did, be uh, fair Matt he only did one campaign of Shadow he didn't do the entire game oh yeah no, I'm not doing yeah. that that's true. That, that takes freaking, the fact that there are like over four what was like over 400 possible combinations of stories yeah like, yes. the one I did was like the one I did was like you know. 135 or something yeah so like you have to play through the game 10 times just to get to the final story and then you have to wait ten minutes in order to get an actual, like, explanation. That reminds me. Logan, at one point, did, did you say you wanted to try doing, uh, Sonic Chronicles for the channel? Um, no, I don't think I did. I was pretty I sure I did. If, or if I did, then I don't know how I'm gonna do with Which that. Which one really is Sonic anyway. Chronicles? Dark Brother. That's, that's the... That's the Bioware yeah, one. Yeah, that's the RPG on the DS. Oh yeah, the one done by Bioware. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm not joking, and people. Bioware did that. I know. And, but bear in yep. mind, Bioware was also responsible for Mass Effect Andromeda, so it, yeah. Yes, yes, but on the other hand, Bioware is also responsible for Dragon Age Inquisition, so there is a good trade-off. And the other, and the other Mass Effect games on top of it, which I hear Andromeda is notwithstanding, Mass Effect is supposed to be pretty good on its own merits. Mass Effect One and Two are fantastic, especially Two. Uh, 3 is okay. I mean, the ending kind of ruined it, and Andromeda is okay. I think 3 is better than Andromeda, but still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dude. Also, I will Dude. say, I do like characters in and I do like certain characters in Andromeda uh, more than I did in uh, 3. I'm trying to remember, how long ago was it since uh, Andromeda released? Like... I don't know, five months. And they've and they've really? and if I'm not mistaken, they've officially stopped supporting it. Huh. Oh wow. I don't know why, but I thought Andromeda wow. was longer ago than that. Bi Bioware kept on supporting Inquisition for a while. I'm just so confused right now by this talk. So back to this stage. How does this stage compare to Team Heroes' version of it? It's longer, more enemies, other than that, not too different. Okay. Is this still as bullshit as it was in the written teams here at Sonic? Well, for one thing, I don't get killed in this section like you do. <laughs> I still remember the part where Knuckles told you to go down. I and did you exactly got what he told me to, and I still got shot. I should have been more specific! <laughs> I had, I'm no longer a freak. Thank you. Thank you. The, here's Once. the trick with that, James. You have to do I it. I wasn't even there. I, it's like the trick with that. No, it's fine. Anyway, the trick with that is that actually, he, you, uh, what am I trying to say? You wait until he finished the dialogue to do it. You have to do it as soon as you actually see him saying it. Bum. 
I essentially did that, and the fucker still shot me. So then that oh, well, is then that's okay? the point. He was able to finish the conversation, and you waited then. You're not supposed to wait for him to finish. You're supposed to interrupt him like a prick. Uh, this is so weird. So, be like Sonic in real life? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Essentially. Does she say hoorah every time? Possibly. Oh, you mean when she does, like, the lift oh. up in the air? But yeah, actually, Phew. going back to the whole Sonic as a brick thing, I know that's one thing that a lot of people do like about um, Chronicles, is that there are choices where you get to pick what Sonic says. One of the character options allows you to be an absolute prick to people. Yeah. Which is, which is of course, the true dialogue option. The well, really. no, it also, no, it also makes you wonder how Sonic was able to keep his friends with that attitude. True. Mm -hmm. Because people love. Because uh, Sega is under the impression that people love assholes, which, to be fair, some people do. Just look at the oh, Yakuza. Game. Actually, Sonic. So. Sonic. Well, not Yakuza. Um, Se Sega did uh, Shenmue. Well, they also did. Well, Yakuza is a Sega owned product as well. In fact, that's essentially oh. a. That's essentially a. Uh, yeah, uh, Yakuza is essentially a spiritual sequel to um, that of Shenmue. Oh, all right then. Yeah. I'm, then I'm uh, speaking of speaking of t Sega tiles. Then I'm looking forward to the to the Yakuza sort of based Fist of the North Star game. That'll be something else. It's like kind of came out of nowhere. Kind of came out of nowhere uh, too. I don't. I don't know. I feel Ooh. like that's all. I feel like that project's already dead. Why so? Ow. That's, got it. That, that, that's I'll, the I'll joke. I'll tell. I'll tell you when you're rolling. Oh. Right. So. I guess. Well, I like that. I'm I not gonna lie. I find it funny that you, of all people, are telling me that when technically I'm like what two years older than you. I will tell you. I'll, I'll, I will tell you when you are exactly. I will tell you when you are exactly 25 minutes older. And this video is done. <laughs> 25 minutes. 25 minutes older. <laughs> well, he's not wrong. What's up? Yeah, this is hands down the longest video on this playlist. Although I think people watching probably get that already. Yeah. It's a finale, but you're not showing the credits because we got plenty more to do. So. Nope. That is one We're thing that that is one thing that has always been like okay, that's okay, I will say right now. That is one thing that has always been very consistent no matter what game. This game, Sonic 06, Sonic Adventure, Shadow the Hedgehog, I think I already said that. But Yeah. The the problem is that they expect like, oh, these people are gonna forget who made this game after every single playthrough, but we we you need to play through the game. It's not even like an option. Like you have to play through the game multiple times. You need to see the credits multiple times, and they have you still watching the same credits over and over again. Well, it is essentially well, it is essentially just watching the credits on a freaking TV show. I mean, all the it, it, in, when you consider all the TV episodes, the other uh, campaigns. Yeah, I suppose. It, it's kind of like watching two. It's kind of like watching a TV show. Where the second season or second episode is from the point of view of a different character, right? True. Yeah. Which Actually, sometimes can kind of be what... good. Mm -hmm. Actually, that being said, I do remember this game. Um, and it's kind of a funny comparison. Like I know this game kind of has a similar set out of a, like different campaigns with slightly different gameplay stuff. But did Resident Evil Six also do that thing where it's like you actually see credits at the end of every different campaign? Yes. And I don't want ah. to be reminded of Resident Evil 6. Nobody okay, wants I was to be just... reminded of Resident Evil 6. I just wanted to bring the. I just wanted to ask that because I've noticed a lot of people. A lot of people tend to compare Resident Evil 6 to a, a good handful of Sonic games. There is no Resident Evil 6. It never existed. Well, and by, and by that, happen and by the... that matter. And for that, and for that matter, Leon S. Kennedy and uh, Chris Redfield and whatever that third guy's name is never existed. No, no, Chris say, Redfield and any... Leon. No, Chris Redfield and Leon S. Kennedy uh, exists. That third guy doesn't. But that does bring up an interesting question: How can you have a Resident Evil Seven if there is no Six? Well, we had a Final Fantasy Seven before we had a Final Fantasy Six. Oh, wait a minute. Annihilation. <sighs> I guess Matt doesn't want to argue that. <laughs> I'm not. Fair, I, no, fair, I, I, to be fair, what we got is uh, Final Fantasy Three. Final Fa what was called Final Fantasy Three was in actuality Final Fantasy Six. Yeah, and Final yeah. Fantasy Two was actually Final Fantasy Four. And we never got, and we never got two through three into legitimately I, until years later. I think my, I think one of my favorite things is, uh, is, uh, Pro Jared did a great uh, joke about that. 
uh, about the whole fact that 2 is 4 and all that. It goes like, uh, Final Fantasy 4 was, uh, Final Fantasy 2 in America is actually Final Fantasy 4. And that is because they, and that is because since that game was coming out, uh, the American, the American marketing team didn't want to confuse people to, confuse people in making it Final Fantasy 4. Thus they named it Final Fantasy 2. Leading to generations of confusion. Hmm. Got one, two, three, yeah, seven. Wait a minute. <laughs> we got better, the first, better than that thing, second, <laughs> fifth. I'll say better than that. Better than that thing that some game companies do, where it's like, here's Wolfenstein. Wait, you mean the original Wolfenstein? No, Wolfenstein for the Xbox 360, titled Wolfenstein. Well, that's essentially what it's they did with Doom. Yeah, Doom 4 yeah. Or to is get things on a little it, bit Doom more of a is Doom 4. It's not a remake, people. Or to get things a little bit back on topic here, here, play Sonic the Hedgehog. You mean the one for the Genesis? No, the one for the 360. <laughs> there you go. We've come full circle, folks. Hey! I like I like people to note that this that this level got an ang rate. Despite the fact that it was ten minutes long. That means that you were par for the course at that speed. Mm -hmm. By the way, Jordy, how, are you dead yet? No. Because we got a okay. special stage. Oh, yeah, I oh, forgot buddy. about these. Wait, why are we showing up the bonus stage? Yeah, because we already know you're not going to get it. And well, this was kind of an accident, I'll admit. Yeah, it was maybe an accident, it, it, but then I realized, oh, well, I'm in here, I might as well. Damn we it, talk damn about it, this. damn it, Steve, you were actually good. Now we have to suffer another 30 some seconds or so of this tripe. You know, well, I let me, actually... Well, let me, hang on, hang on, let me take this time to ask, because this was because I could not, for the life of me, do it, except for in, like, again, that one time in Team Rose, because you're going to see that, is... Is it better to just start just rapidly tapping the, the, the dash button, or is it better to rapidly hold tapping. it and wait until you get a level 1 or level 2? Cause like try as I might, I, I could not catch up to the frickin' I could not catch up to the Chaos Emerald in one of the things or yeah. I would say rapidly tap it because it eats up less meter than just holding it. But I don't think it's necessarily your fault because the thing that makes these some of the worst special stages in the series, and no, it's not because it reuses the half pipe, get over it, you haters. It's the fact that the it's control not even a half pipe, it's a whole pipe. Well, my point still stands. First off is that the controls are very less than desirable, and also a lot of the placements, especially in the later variants, are very merciless. Ah. Mm. Well, yeah, no, I was going to say, I speak from experience having attempted the final Chaos Emerald Challenge, the spike balls, like, I could literally not move, and literally, as I tried to... I, as I tried to, like, uh, co overcompensate and get away from the spike balls, I would just get, like... I would get slammed into more. Careful. You know, these are at least visually pleasing. Yeah, there's that much. If not a little, if not a little tough on the eyes here and there. Disorienting. Well, it doesn't help to do that. You're you're constantly tapping the button. Yeah, that too. Yes. It helps with some stages. I'm on the same Almost boat as you. I end. always tap the button. Hmm. There's the gold ring. Oh, that's right. I forgot there was an ending to these. Yeah, yeah unless you're ending. doing the, unless you're doing the cast but, but okay, I guess we can at least say that hype showed off what a typical Act One special stage looks like. You usually don't want to do them because there's no point unless you want free. Except for extra lives. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's the Act Two ones you want to worry about. Right. Mm -hmm. I need a pillow. And now we get to the final level uh, of the game, better. or of this uh, kind of campaign, Final, final Fortress. Fortress. And, mm -hmm. and like we've alluded to, this is probably the worst iteration of it throughout all the games or all the but, campaigns. Yep. By the way, this is final. This is Final Fortress C7. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Right off the Whoa. bat. Okay. So what makes this so bad? Oh gosh, robots. Well, well you again, it's kind of what I mentioned earlier about. It's kind of what we mentioned earlier about Rail Canyon. It's like this level by itself is pretty finicky and annoying, just in terms of length and challenge. And Team Dark is supposed to be even harder than that. Put the two elements together, and you get a migraine of a level. 
a big hurrah on the You get level. off easy because... Yep. And Logan, you get off easy because Team Roses is probably the most manageable you'll ever get out of this level. Like, I think that one is only about, like... But it's... Four minutes. You, you just get off easy. By the way, Shadow is apparently British now because he said don't panic. I'll take it from here. So? You can keep calm and carry on. Yep. That says that doesn't say panic anymore. Shut it's up. Never calm. mind. Aww. No, it's fine. Okay, hurry. Why'd Never you mind. do that to the poor thing? Because I need some way to ground myself. And to get that upgrade okay. for Omega. Yeah. Oh, and one for Roosh, too. Two for one. And I, I think he missed it. it. You know, Rouge, I think I get the su sneaky suspicion our players have been, been spoon feeding our, our robotic compatriot with all these level ups. You think? That is because I am fabulous and you are not. I would love. Take that back. I would love for you to say the word fucking. <laughs> I would love for you to use the term fucking compatriot shadow. Compatriot shadow? I, I, I just go, go, go just go, just going further on with that with that Omega comments like, bitch, even my explosions are beautiful. They are. Mm -hmm. And you know, it seems fun. It does seem fitting that we do that because I know there are a few iterations of Omega through the series, and I know Archie definitely likes to do it. But Omega can be quite the sass machine. Yes, he is. Especially yes, in the he in, is. especially in the comics. The dude's just a like just I, a lover of wanton destruction. Mm -hmm. And I do remember it like in some of like um, I was going through the last couple arcs of Sonic Universe before it got cancelled, and the one the last one they did Shattered, which is really fun, where it's like they're going after the alien. I do not wish to share in the alien slaughter with them. They're only after the emeralds, you don't have to share anything. This is fine with me. <laughs> Oops! Oh, however, is not. A job for Rouge that she clearly did not do. Way to go, babe. Actually, you know what? I just remember another instance where it's like Omega's like blasting through the swall to try to get to Walter Nagus, but Emmy's on the other side and he risks damaging her. It's like, and Knuckles is like, "You stupid bucket of bolts! You could have hit Amy. You did not specify a good angle for the shot. How was I supposed to know? That sounds like your shortcoming, not mine." Hmm. Hmm. Excuses, excuses. And speaking of excuses, this is where they get really obnoxious with the Egg Titans. You Especially said. the ones with the helmets. Ugh. In fact, I think those are the only type of Titans you find this level. Super. Oh, I see what he's doing here. Although, I don't think it happens in Team Dark, though. Like, I know it definitely happened in Team Sonic, and James kind of missed that opportunity, where it's like, they clearly acknowledge it's a self-destruct button, but when they activate it, they're like, wonder why the ship self-destructed? Oh, I hate Which, this apparently... Part. Yeah. Where they introduce these! Ah, uh, Someone... well... Unfortunately, okay. unfortunately, unfortunately Logan got caught by that. Laser. Yeah, he unfortunately Logan got caught by that laser, so unfortunately he will be bowing out for the rest of the for this for the rest of the part. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Don't worry, he should be. I know for certain he'll be back for Team Rose because well, he's the one handling Team Rose. Yep. Right. He had the bow. Can't... He had the bow out, and it's nothing. And I have nothing to do with it. Sure, you did. No, I'm serious. I have nothing to do with it this time. We know. We know. It's it's because of reasons that I'm not sure he'd want us to talk about on air. Yeah, we're, the, we're not the, gonna do it. And then the hitman suddenly arrives like, So we were late, boss. Uh, where, where's, where's the target? So where is he? The mad thespian. The target. The target, not the target. <laughs> as you so kindly said. I uh, had well, to excuse, leave. Well, excuse me for defiling. Excuse you for defiling my birthright. <laughs> Actually, I thought I was about to say. So where's the target? Oh, it's over there. I hear they're having a sale. Oh god. <laughs> but well, I'm not wrong. They do have the back-to-school sales. <laughs> Come on, Shadow. I hear we can save money on notebooks. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I can't 
Something got sale on those I, I Love Joycey t-shirts. I can't even express how much I love you right now because you are doing a good job making me laugh. <laughs> you love me, you hate me, make up your devil damn mind, woman. Hers is a complicated relationship. It clearly shows here. <laughs> well, they're cats, so I can't say it's too surprising. Excuse you? <laughs> well, that cat. Well, we just let that cat out of the bag. <laughs> Among other hey, things. Yeah, we're <laughs> mm -hmm. And I apologize to all cats because we are gonna have to think of new things to say, considering how. I kid you not, this is probably the longest level you're gonna have to go through if you plan on going through Sonic Heroes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I know, I don't remember if Team Chaotix has it worse. All I know is that Team Chaotix's mission is just finding X number of things. Like, I think the level it, the level length of that really extends to how well you can find all the stuff. This oh, yeah. is just monotonous. It is what it is, pretty much. And I actually, as of this recording, I actually have started recording uh, Team Chaotix. Though, I've only gotten as far as uh, bullets, uh, excuse me, Rail Canyon. Okay, so you're, you're pretty much more than halfway there. Yeah, I I haven't I haven't even got through that stage yet. I've only just I only just beat the gaunt, the uh, egg gauntlet and realized just how fucking disgusting that is with the chaotics. Oh yes, yeah, so that's for reasons that we'll definitely dwell into once we start with them. Oh, you better believe it, because that's gonna be a good chunk of that boss fight. <laughs> I can't say I blame, I can't say I blame you. It's a it's very effective for what it has to. It, uh, what am I trying to say? It makes those bosses a lot more man tolerable. Yeah. So so that's it. Yeah. Sorry, Steve. Nah, it's fine. Are they switches? Now Rouge is on her own. Oh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little tired. I'm sorry. I kind of didn't get enough sleep last night. Oh, you mm -hmm. you and me both, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't think my sleep schedule is all that bad, in my opinion. Like, granted, I do like to stay up a lot, but I I think I get enough sleep to function during the day. Listen, con since coming back, I have been doing better with my sleeping schedule, and I would only stay up late during the weekends. It's just that last night, you know, I already explained it. I was having a rough day yesterday, so... And I was working on a little something to help me feel better, so... I could have gone to sleep, but I stupidly chose not to. Oh. And I only got like five and a half hours of sleep. Oh, actually, I think that's how many... Actually, uh, this probably isn't a good thing to admit, but I think that's how much time I usually sleep myself, and yet I still seem to act just fine. Well, you're you. There's the thing. Once you're used to a certain amount of hours of sleep, then, you know, it becomes easier for you. Like, I've grown used to staying up till like one o'clock in the morning and surviving on at least six or six and a half hours of sleep, even though I usually try to aim for seven or eight hours. When I go less than that, then that's when, you know... Mm -hmm. I think it also might be a bit of a biology you know, issue, because I think they're... You know, I think you might be a worse, th a worse free thrower than, uh... Oh, okay, you actually got it, but still, you were a worse free thrower <laughs> than Shaquille O'Neal there. Yeah, I was gonna give the exact same thing. Oh, I know those thuds anywhere. Or and yet he's the one that's get, he's the one that's getting his getting another getting another goddamn video game reboot. Yep. Oh that's right, this whole Shaq Fu thing. I'm gonna be honest, I've had zero experience with any Shaq Fu related stuff, so I'm not quite sure how to feel about this. Uh just ignore it. Like most people do. I probably will. Well, ignore, ignore the, ignore the original one. We don't know if the reboot's gonna be as bad or not. Like we uh, don't know if Shaq's even gonna will. be voicing himself for the reboot. Oh, he is. Of course he is. Okay, well it has that at least. Wherever the, where, where, wherever, the the wherever the money talks, Shaq will walk. Although I'm not gonna lie, whenever I think of Shaq now, I just think of two things. One is the whole, one is that really bad Steel movie, and the other is a scene from the Lego movie where it's like they're trying to stop those giant ships, and it's like, Shaq, you ready for this? It's ga no, actually Shaq. Do you know what time it is? It's game time. They stumble like the giant catapult. You all ready for this? Oh, oh no, they were ready for that. Oh, that is a nice. funny scene. Nice. 
It's like, I, I love that scene, I especially love the one after it, which Superman gets stuck in the gum. It's like Green Lantern's about to save him. Oh no, my arms are stuck. My legs are stuck as well. I superhated you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Lego movie in general is just great, and I especially love the Lego Batman movie. I personally... The Batman one is my favorite out of both of them. Thank you. Same here. I... Uh, like, it just had me grinning like an idiot the whole time, and that's very the, rare when it comes to a movie. There's only one joke in that movie that I'm, that I'm just shaking my head because I know Warner Brothers and DC put it in there because they're such sore assholes, but... Yeah. Did you want to say it? Oh, it's the uh, fact that uh, his... It's the fact that Batman's... Uh, his pass, his verbal passcode, his verbal password, his password, where the fuck it is, is uh, Iron Man sucks. Oh. Because it, it it's is obvious. Sore, that, but... it, in my opinion, that's just that's not them like making a, a joke. I feel like that's them like because there's such sore assholes because. All the Marvel movies are much more successful than DC movies. And they're going Don't like... Sadly, that is kind of true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that... I said sadly, that's kind of true. Yeah. Yeah. And I was about to say, being fair, I think Lego Batman can get away with it because it does kind of fit Lego Batman's personality. Yeah, it does fit his personality, but I don't think that was the intention. Probably not. To be fair, I think they only made the joke because they knew they could get away with it in this medium. I mean, if it were something Oops. a little more serious, well, I thought I could clear at that. At least, at least I'm Ooh. the, at least I'm not the only one that has to feel that pain. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, no idea. Backwards. <laughs> yep. Backing up. Backing up. Well, what happened? Well, you backed up. And anyway, just going back to Lego Batman real quick. Um. I just love a lot of the jokes. I think one of my favorites is after the Joker surrenders himself and Batman just is about to go on with his life. It's like, uh, Batman, what are you doing? <laughs> Punching Bane. That was unnecessary. <laughs> I I actually have I actually have Lego Bane. I that's my personal favorite minifigure from the whole Lego Batman line. Oh, oh can my I clear it? God, uh -oh. she's gonna I don't think blow. I'm gonna clear it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna my laser. Wow. I hated that part. <laughs> Is that well, it? Well, you avoid the laser. Yep. And you know what? There goes the moon. Again. <laughs> and Funny thing is, is that the game expects you to actually try to grind fast enough so you can just barely avoid the laser, but what they don't tell you is that you actually can dodge it with Team Flight, which is ironic, because that's usually how I dodge it. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I was gonna make a funny joke to add to the whole Spongebob parody we were doing. I wasn't sure if I should, but I was gonna say, like, Hey, you know what else, what else? I think I lost my damn fourth Chaos Emerald. And, and the damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Which was kind bad. of ironic, because that sorry. literally... Which is kind of ironic, because that literally is one of the emeralds that James lost in his playthrough. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was. Congratulations! 20 emblems collected! Now you can play battle stages! Which Whoa. we're not gonna show. I know. And now yeah, for the final boss. Of this. Yes. The Egg Emperor! I yes, hate which... this boss. I was about to say, usually this boss is a pain. I would argue more so with, I guess, Chaotix. But if you know what you're doing, with Team Dark, it's actually the easiest of the lot. Really? Yes, and it's because of one thing, but we'll get to that as soon as we fill up our Team Blast gauge. Hey, hey oh, Eggman, Eggman, you said meet your maker. You only made one of them. Your grandfather made the other, but the third one is just natural. Well, to be natural. fair, I yes. said that with all. The, I said that to everyone else, too. That is true, he does say it to everyone else. Plus, it's just an expression! Oof. Oh my gosh! Ow. Yeah, that's actually... We did talk about that. If you get far enough from Eggman, he will charge at you. And it does home in on you. And it's unavoidable. Oh, good thing I had one ring. Completely unavoidable. But thankfully, if you're in a situation like that, it won't work. 
every time I see this Egg Emperor, everybody... Alright, when people see the Egg Emperor, they're mostly going to think of the uh, one from the OVA. For me, I'm going to think of the uh, of a uh, hard-boiled king. Wait, wait, the OVA. You're not you're not talking about Metal Robotnik, are you? Metal Robotnik kind of looks like Robotnik. the Egg Emperor. That's why I'm talking. You know what? I should ah, just okay. stop talking. No, no, it's it's fine. I'm just I'm just just checking to make sure. But anyway, okay. um, now that yeah, we got was... rid of all the cannons, and it's probably for the best that you get rid of the cannons because it helps quite a bit in this section. Yeah. Make sure you have Rouge up to at least level two. Team Blast, and, and... Boom. That does a lot of damage, but the best part is, he's completely Stop free him. for the pickings until the cooldown starts. Oh, yeah. I forgot about You're supposed to be as soon as I can move my legs. Oh, look at him! He's already wow. down to 17! And there he goes! Yep, he's only down to, I think, I, I think two hits left. Two hits? Ooh. Holy... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if you know what you're doing, Team Dark's um, Egg Emperor can actually be the easiest of the four. As long as you don't do Ow. stupid stuff like that. Yeah. Careful, 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 careful! Oh, careful, careful, don't worry. Careful, Just careful. as a... I think this is my second attempt, but I do not die in the second attempt. Good. Okay. Whew. We just have to go through this. <laughs> That could very well have been in its own death trap, but thankfully get the game decided to cut Ooh. you a break. Oh my gosh! Yep. Alright, now it's bad. Oops. Okay, that's my bad. I'll admit to that. Jesus Christ. Now to go ahead and punt. Oh, it was only one head. I could have sworn it was two. Oh well. Shoot him in the heart! Well, that's oh, the end. Fine, I'll do one more. It looks like he's having a heartburn. Yeah! And, and with that, Team Dark one. is a done. For the treasure dump. Yes. Yep, this is this is the last of the Team Dark campaign. All we have left is Rose and Chaotix. Yep. Yep. Hooray! Now let's watch our just let's watch our end our ending cutscene desserts. I'm melting, I'm melting. <laughs> No, if it's completely destroyed, then there would be nothing left of him. Wait a minute, Matt. We have a... Oh, oh my shadows? god. <gasps> a lot of shadows. How can this be? To destroy, immediate area. destroy them before the fangirls can get to them. <laughs> I was By drinking way, water when you said that, so I was trying not to laugh. By the way, real quick, this whole exchange between Omega and Rouge is actually a bit of a translation error. She's not saying, did I tell you Shadow's a robot? It's more so like, hey, do you think Shadow's a robot? But unfortunately, they kind of messed that up. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. It's an easy thing to fix, but nope. Again, this is, again, this is Sega translating. They're not the best at translating. Well, this was, yeah, this was back when they were still pretty bad with their localization shit. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our Team Dark playthrough. As Lo as Steve has already mentioned, uh, we've got te Team Roses up next, and that'll be handled by Loken. Unfortunately, he's not here to val validate that, but I'll validate it for him. With that said, um, see you guys then. Bye. Bye. Commencing end of commentary.